Now, very common as well, as you're trying to apply as much pressure as you can, and you're making your partner's leg collapse, or maybe you're trying to dive in to the chest to chest control, our partners will take their right foot, I mean, uh, the, the outside foot, and they'll place it in. So it's pretty much a combination of a half guard, knee shield, and the uh, kind of, of a butterfly guard, right? So instead of having the foot out, as it is now, and I'll show you guys in a, in a second, the other angle, he'll place his foot on the inside while maintaining the chest uh, knee shield. A difference here to the completely butterfly guard would be to open both of his knees and then, of course, again, get closer to him and we saw the options that we can do from the butterfly guard. Now, as I'm here and he keeps the chest control, what I'll do is I will start adding pressure and now I want to drive my right knee in, just like so. Now, I'll collapse his knees as well and look how my chest slides up. And now, once my chest is higher up to his belt, now I can start facing him. Well, and start dealing with the pass. Now we see two variations. One, I'll hold four fingers towards me, right? I mean, near me, facing his ankle. I'll push it down. I'll step away. Now reach on for the pass. So once again, as we're in this position, do not square up with him. If you feel that you can go control from the outside, of course, take your foot out of the mat, the back foot, and now start sliding as you slide your knee in as well. Notice how when I slide my knee in, his bottom leg extended. Whenever your partner's limbs are extended, his legs are extended, you always see that you, you, they, they will not be able to generate any power whatsoever. So. If his legs dense, he can start making hooks. He can start maybe possibly recovering a, a, a much better position into the body. Now, when I dive out and I extend my knee, his leg just moved away out of the angle to bother me. Now, from here, four fingers on the inside. I push his leg out so he cannot maintain any hooks. If he does so, we already saw the concept to move our leg away and then come back over the top. Once you reach this position, immediately move on to the side control. If my partner turns away from me, of course, you'll be exposed in the back. That'll be not a problem whatsoever. If we look forward to maintaining the side control position, make sure you're already adding pressure from this moment on. You get chest to chest, knee to knee on the mat.